It always seems like Schumann went up and down. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Like, well, they were like certainly... Like a manic depressive. Yes. Oh, I, I think many psychiatrists would agree. And, and this was, these were cycles throughout his life that became, I think, came closer and were more severe in the Dusseldorf years. But um, I think the illness probably began to show earlier on, about 1852, in various ways, including aggressive behavior. Schumann was not demented, he still had insight, and he realized that these mood swings could not be accounted for by environmental circumstances, and that his worst fear was realized. Remember in 1833, he said that his worst fear was of losing his mind. He now had evidence to, that he was actually losing his mind and in a very public position. And he was absolutely terrified. Dear Clara, I will throw my wedding ring into the Rhine. You do the same, and then both rings will be united. It was from this house in Bilkestrasse, Dusseldorf, that Schumann was taken to the asylum. A carriage waited outside, and he got in, flanked by attendants, and he never looked back. Shortly after that, though, Brahms came to live in this house. Uh, he was here supposedly to comfort Clara and to help look after the children. I think I'm in love with her. Often I have to hold myself back forcibly from just simply putting my arm around her and, I don't know, it seems so natural to me as though she wouldn't mind at all. What a pleasure it is to spend time with you, Hannes. I always like to see his radiant face and to play the beautiful music he brings to me. There is, after all, no greater pleasure than the power of giving happiness to those we love. He draws in great breaths of nature and one grows young with him. And then we go into the slow movement. And you know that uh, wonderful six bar phrase? Yeah. Into the slow movement. I mean, there's... Because it's completely unconnected, thematically, really, to anything. But it's actually, you know, as you know, I'm sure Schumann used to put little messages in his music. I'm sure this is a message to Clara, because it's got the Clara the interval, Clara the fifth. falling fifth.
If you love the open road, why not get closer to it? For only £9,480, including two years free insurance, the Vauxhall Corsa SXI with Lotus tuned suspension. Have you stopped believing in magic? We've magical liquids that people can breathe. And that can save tiny lives. We can move hundreds of tons on thin air. We're transforming the world's outdated nuclear sites. We take used fuel and use it again. We can make a single fuel pellet, switch on all these, and have people appearing from all over the globe to marvel at technology so advanced it seems magical. The NFL, where science never sleeps. In spring, the weather is mild. Food is colored with saffron. We are dazzled by gold. In summer, green gives us energy. We go to the mountains and walk barefoot in the snow. High up, the air is fresh. We eat well. In winter, our country is a rainbow land. Each color has its own mood. Some intoxicate. Others cool you down. Tonight, share Patak's passion for India. Well, legend has it that by the time Schumann was brought here to Endenich, to this asylum, his music had been travelling down a slippery slope for a few years. I think that's absolute rubbish. At the time that the music first appeared, everybody was crazy about it. And then once he was pronounced incurably mad, everybody said, oh yes, shows weakening powers. Anyway, we'll go and see where he spent his last sad years. Formerly, this house was a mental hospital and it's now turned into a museum. This was the room where Schumann spent most of his time when he was here in Anenich. Mm -hmm. We have some pictures yes. and letters of, uh, from Clara in different um, ages of her life. Yeah, God. You know, her writing's much worse than his. Yes. <laughs> I thought his was meant to be so terrible. I think that the grand romance of the relationship was now over and I think she began to emotionally disentangle herself with, with, with Robert Schumann and to get on with her life. Um, she had a life with Brahms, she was eager to continue concertizing ostensibly to, to uh, pay for the um, asylum but also she was a woman who had an independent career and had other, other things, uh, other aspirations. 
How did Clara react to his, his late music? Um, Clara loved all his music. She, she loved uh, uh, also the late works. Uh, only after, his, uh, after he went to Endenich and after his death, uh, she found them too, too gloomy, too difficult to understand for other people. Do you think there's any hint of madness in his late music? Uh, uh, absolutely no. Um, uh, when Schumann was mad, he could, he could not uh, compose. Uh, he, he, uh, his, his madness had, has nothing to do with uh, his compositions, I would say. I always had the feeling that Schumann never talks about the dark side of his music, or rarely, and Clara almost seems not to have understood it. That's why, for me, I think she took against some of the late works. That's probably why she never played Gesenia de Frua and why she tore up the cello romances. This is the great crime. Maybe they were dark works that she didn't like. Well, probably she couldn't uh, make with him the journey he went. Yes. Uh, she just stick to where he went in his earlier years yes. and she didn't go further with him in his visions. Yes. And these visions, maybe he kept even quite secret. Yes, or well, he wouldn't show her. He just wrote the them words. in music, but he wouldn't speak about it, and she yes. didn't get it, maybe. How do you think Schumann would have felt had he seen her destroying his romances for cello? Uh, oh, he, he would be very angry. Uh, then uh, uh, Schumann um, uh, preserved many of his uh, early works, uh, uh, which, he, uh, which uh, should not be published but I think he wanted to publish this uh, five romances. Shortly before he wrote the romances, Schumann had written a violin concerto. Clara and her advisors felt that the work was tainted by Schumann's illness. They later shut it away where it remained hidden until the 1930s. I suppose we should be grateful she couldn't find the matches.